If you're having a hard time to decide whether you should buy an Apple Watch with or without cellular, this video is for you. Starting off, it may be obvious for some of you, but those who are unsure what the difference is between the GPS and the GPS plus cellular Apple Watches, the main thing is cellular connectivity. A cellular-enabled Apple Watch allows you to stay connected even when you leave your iPhone at home, which means that you can make calls, send texts, and stream music directly from your wrist. Mainly, it gives you independence from your iPhone. Now, here are four factors that I recommend you consider before making a decision. First, and in my opinion, the main thing you should think about is your lifestyle. Think about your routine. Do you need or do you want to wear your Apple Watch without having your iPhone around? For example, do you want to go for a run or run errands without bringing your iPhone along? If the answer is yes, if you want that independence from your iPhone, the cellular version is the way to go. Now, even though I believe that thinking about your lifestyle is the easiest way to make that decision, I know that's probably not your only concern. So, number two, budget. The Apple Watch Series 8 with cellular, for example, is $100 more expensive. So if you're on a tight budget, the non-cellular option might be more appealing. Third, data plan. If you opt for a cellular Apple Watch, you will need to set up a data plan for it. Also, you're likely going to need to pay extra for that. Of course, the price varies depending on your phone company, and I believe the majority of them are not that expensive. I used to pay $10 a month, but definitely something to consider budget-wise too. And fourth, battery life. Due to the constant connectivity, the cellular Apple Watches might have a slightly shorter battery life. Now, even though this might sound like an issue, I suggest you think about your priorities. Do you prioritize battery life or having the freedom to leave the house without your iPhone? I currently own the GPS Apple Watch Series 8, but I kind of regret not buying the GPS plus cellular version. And honestly, I don't think I would notice a huge difference in battery life because I created a charging routine that works for me and I believe it wouldn't really be affected by it. Also, I recently posted here on the channel my long-term review of the Apple Watch Series 8, so make sure to watch if you haven't already. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tech tips and reviews. And of course, leave your comments or questions down below. Are you team GPS or GPS plus cellular when it comes to Apple Watches? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.